Today's noisy digital first world is a challenging one for business owners. How do you get more people to know you, trust you and to respect your brand? How do you stay front of mind with your target audience as well as talked about in a positive way in the marketplace? The answer is public relations, but not as you know it. Get ready to unlock the potential of your business through the power of PR, content and digital communications. Get ready to become your own PR machine. G'day, my name is Trevor Young and in this episode we're going to look at how a journalist can help you knock your content out of the park. Now, number, before we get into it, why do you want to keep, why would you want to improve your content? Well, I think that we're all upping the stakes in the quality of the content that we produce and, you know, we need all the help we can get. And so if we can be smarter about producing content that's going to be the bet, better than your competitors, then you're going to be having an advantage, uh, hopefully, in the online world and in the marketplace generally. And that will have a flow-on effect for your commercial, um, your commercial uh, outputs and what you're trying to achieve as a business. Whether you run the, a business, you are the business, so it's a personal branding, thought leadership, positioning, or you run a business and you employ stacks of staff, in which case, good on you. Okay, the first way in which a journalist can help you create content and get the most out of your content, number one is that they can create, and they're very adept at creating multimedia content. Now today, it's great to be able to write great articles and publish them and get them out there. It's equally as good to be able to do it with video and audio. But if you can do all three, that's the triple threat. And a lot of journalists are very adept at multiple, uh, going across and, and creating content for multiple mediums. Um, they've had to adapt to the new media landscape, just like all of us. And they've had to go and learn these new skills. So if you're going to put on a freelance journalist to help you with your content, and you're very keen to not just have written articles, as good as they are, but you might also want to uh, expand uh, your thoughts and ideas and, 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 and the insights that you're putting out there in the marketplace, you might want to expand that into video and or audio, then look for a journalist who has got a background, uh, who has the triple threat. Um, they've got a background and they can produce uh, text, the written word, video and audio. Number two, the second reason why to use a journalist as part of your content team. Uh, the second one is they're very, very good. Journalists are very, very good at extracting the stories. And that's the important thing. You know, we're not trained journalists, most of us. Um, I actually am, but you know, as a rule, most of uh, most people, you know, they might have a, a bit of an understanding of what makes a good story, but a journalist can get to the heart of that very quickly by interviewing you. So you give them a good brief, they'll do the interview, and hey, maybe they re um, they interview you on video, and that way you can use that video. And you can use the audio somehow as well, maybe for a podcast. But they, the more, most important thing is they'll get to the heart of the stories. Now, what I've done with a number of my clients, I will interview the experts. And within 25, 30 minutes, I have enough for four to five really good articles. So I can get to the heart of what a good story is and then interview them and get the stories out of them. And therefore, these stories are going to resonate more. There's a bit more consistency rather than the, um, the expert who's usually the busiest person in the business um, or the leader or the CEO or the founder. They have to make the time to sit down and write that. So it, it actually, A, is a time saver, a massive time saver. But B, but B they will get the good stories because they understand what readers or viewers or listeners want from content and want in a story or an angle or a hook or an idea. So number two is extract the stories uh, from your people and they'll do it quickly as well. So you'll get a better result and they'll do it quickly. And the, the final um, reason or advantage of using a journalist uh, and having one as part of your content team is that they will help make your content better. Now, let me explain this one. This one's, uh, you want a journalist who has sub-editing experience. Now, a sub-editor um, on, on a newspaper, for example, 
they will get the stories from the journalists and then knock them into shape. Not not every some of the journalists they you know they're quick to write their stories, but they need a sub editor to tidy it up to make it look good, consistent, uh, to check facts, all of that sort of stuff. So that's what a subby does. So if you've got people internally or you yourself are the writer of articles and you're sitting there and trying to finesse them and spend a whole lot of time trying to perfect them, why don't you consider getting a a journalist who has got sub-editing experience, write a stack of articles, whip it over to them. They They will knock them into shape. They will check, fact check things. They will ask you, does this make sense or this doesn't make sense? They'll just straighten the back of the article for you to make it much be- the, it will be a much better result. I don't care if you're a good writer, an editor will make it even a, a better article. And I think that they are absolute gold. Now, I do this in my own business. Um, I've got a couple of clients who they, they've got internal experts. They're writing the articles. We've got this whole content machine going. And when the articles uh, are done, they go off to a, a sub-editor who works his magic over it. He does it very quickly. Um, it's one good thing that sub-editors do if they've worked on newspapers. They are quick. Same with journalists getting a story. They're really quick at doing it. They get to the heart of the matter really quickly. So just in summary, they are the three reasons why you should consider having a freelance if, if you are, or freelance journalists uh, as part of your content team. Number one, they can create multimedia content and extend the value of your ideas uh, and get it you know, more broadly out there online. Number two is that they can extract the stories and they're very good at doing that. So they'll probably you know, help you with your content and get a better story than maybe what you can do yourself. And the final one is, you know, if you are writing articles, um, you know, get your experts or you yourself, get them down there, Get it out of your system. Get it out of your head. The ideas and 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 everything. Get it down on paper and let them tidy it up and make it make the finished product even better. Learn how to become your own PR machine. We now have a newsletter to accompany this podcast. So subscribe today and receive top tips, ideas, insights, and trends to help you unlock the potential of your business through the power of PR content and digital communications. Go to becomeyourownprmachine.com.